Mommy. As you can see, ah. what's up, y'all? So today we have a different type of video, and this video is like, what can we learn from the Book of Haggai? So I really hope I'm pronouncing this right, but yes, basically we are reading from the Book of Haggai. And I did this Bible study like a couple days ago, yeah, last week, and I learned something from it. So I want to share this with y'all, and I don't want to make this long, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. <laughs> yes. So the first thing I'm going to do is read on the book of Haggai. I'm only reading chapter 1 because that's what the Bible study was on. I'm only reading chapter 1, verse 1 through 11. So yes, let's go ahead and get started. So it says... A call to build the house of the Lord. In the second year of King Darius, on the first day of the sixth month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to Zerubbabel, son of Shethel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, son of Jehoshadak, the high priest. This is what the Lord Almighty says. These people say the time has not yet come to rebuild the house, the Lord house, the Lord's house. Then the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Is it a time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses while this house remains a ruin? Now this is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. You have plenty much but harvest little. You eat but never have enough. You drink but you never have your fill. You put on clothes but you are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in a purse with holes in it. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. Go up into the mountains and bring down timber and build my house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You expect much, but see it turned out to be little. What you brought home, I blew away. Why, declares the Lord Almighty, I'm sorry, mighty, <laughs> um, because of my house, which remains a ruin, while each of you is busy with your own house. Therefore, because of you, the heavens have withheld their dew and the earth its crops. I'll call for a drought on the fields and the mountains, on the grain, the new wine, the olive oil, and everything else the ground produces, on people and livestock, and on all the labor of your hands. So, I have some notes here that I wrote down, and I'm just going to read them, and we're just going to sum it all up, and I'm going to tell y'all what I learned. So, verses 2 through 3, I said, God is saying here that people have time to live in their paneled houses and fix them up. But my house, the Lord's house, that lays in ruins, you don't have time to build that up. They said it wasn't time to build the build up the Lord's house yet. And then verses 5 through 7, I said, God says to the people, give careful thought to your ways. You eat, but you are never satisfied. You put on clothes, but you have no, no one comes to you. You earn, you earn wages only to put them in a purse full of holes. And you, you plant a lot, but you harvest little. In verses 8 through 11, I said, God is saying, go build my house so I can take pleasure in it and be honored. God says, you wonder why you planted so much, but you only came to see little. What you planted, he blew away. Why? Because his house lays in ruins and you are still focused on your house. Basically, you're busy on your house. God also says, because you're too busy to build my house, your crops didn't come because I withheld the earth's crops and do from coming. And now I have this long, long passage that I want to read. And this is basically saying what I learned. So, yeah, this is basically saying what I learned. So, yes. Um, what can we learn from the book of Haggai chapter 1? I learned that when you give no time to God, God will take away whatever is consuming your time from him. The people in the book of Haggai chapter 1 were worried about their houses and what they could do to perfect their houses today, today's generation. People today spend so much time worrying about themselves that they forget the need of others and how they can please God. In today's generation, people just want to know how they can please themselves instead of how they can please the Lord. God is literally asking for our time every day with him, no matter how long it may be. God wants our attention. And because the people of the land devoted so much time to their houses and crops, the Lord stopped the dew in the earth's crops from coming. This is what happens when we lose sight of God and focus on the things that can come last. God is saying, you got time to shop every day, but you don't got time to open the word of God. You got time to be on social media all day, but you don't have time for worship. You got time to get your nails done, but you don't have time 
but you don't have time to spend with me we got to do better so basically what i was saying it is like what i learned from the book of Haggai is as you can see the people they was like no it's not time to build the lord's house yet and stuff like that and they were just worried about their paneled houses they were just worried about their houses period they were so busy on their houses that they wasn't worried about the lord's house they wasn't worried about repairing it and see this is right here this is this is what you can learn. God said, give careful thought to your ways. You do so much, but you harvest little. You do so much, but you only get little from it. And he just said, like, you put on clothes, but, you know, you don't get no warm from it. And you make all this money only to put it in holes. It, like, it goes down a drain. So, I learned a lot from the book of Haggai, and I still am learning. So, you know, take it easy on me if I got anything wrong. But, um, yes, what I learned from the book of Haggai is, we get so caught up in our problems and our circumstances and everything that's in the world like going to get our nails done going to get our feet done there's nothing wrong with that but when it's consuming your time away from the lord when you put your bible away for the whole day and don't care about what god got for you that's when you mess up and when god sees that something else is consuming your time he will take that away from you whether it be somebody that you love not take them away from you as in like Send them like he take them away from you like he'll like distance them away from you because he did it to me um when you spend so much time on certain things he'll take it away from you but he's not being mean he's disciplining you because when when you start drifting away from the lord you start the more that you drift and drift the more that you back you gonna start backsliding god just be trying to help us honestly because the thing is we got time to be on social media and text our friend 15 15 times a day but we don't got time to open the word of god we got time to go shop and go get many patties and buy the new nike shoes and go buy jordans and stuff like that but we don't got time for worship you know that's i feel like that's what the lord just want at least five minutes of our time the lord just want our time period no matter how long it may be it can be for five minutes it can be for 10 minutes 30 minutes an hour two hours it don't matter as long as you're giving the lord time and it's like that's what we're missing in this world nobody's giving the lord time like a lot of people is lacking reading their bibles and praying and i'm not saying i'm perfect and i read my bible every day and stuff like that and i don't and i pray every day and i be on it because I, I definitely i definitely don't so um i struggle just like the next person but i'm just saying like when we don't devote our time some of our time to the lord we miss out on what god got for us and then we worry we worry why these hardships be coming in our life and while all this came and while all this came, did you sit down and did you talk to the Lord? Did you sit down and you did you pray about it? Or did you just go off based off your emotions? Did you talk to God about it before you did anything? And that's what we miss. And this that's what this world is missing. This world is missing God. But God is here. That's what I'm saying. Like God is here and He's willing to help you. But you gotta accept the help. Like the moral moral thing, the whole thing of that, I learned that when you don't give time to God god is gonna withheld things from you he's gonna take things from you because god did it to me okay <laughs> yes he did but i'm glad that oh but i'm glad that he did that to me because when he did that i got focused on him and even though i'm still struggling with that same issue right now i know that he's gonna help me work through that so i'm not gonna worry about it you know but yes what i learned from this whole book i know i keep saying the same thing i'm sorry but <laughs> what i learned from this book is that when you when you when something else is consuming your time when you're not working on something you got with the lord when you're not focused on what the lord got for you when you don't give god the honor glory and the praise that he deserves he gonna take whatever is consuming your time because he need he needs you to get with the get with the program like you just you really need to sit back and worship him and just give him all the honor and glory because honestly without god i don't know where we would be so i don't know where i would be without him so yeah that's all i want to say for this video and y'all already know my saying love god love others and baby don't forget to love yourself i hope y'all learned something from this book and i know that i did so yeah see y'all later